Yeah, success no a. Toxic pots is the enemy. The kids are the protest. Take it easy, Papa. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, let's do it. Just for emotion in a generation When I own the universe like Michael Jackson If you up against then stop silly question Money is nothing, but you got a vision Like a woman who's got going in the mission Don't be stupid like those girls to abortion Just focusing boyfriend and the fashion My beginning is in it up, not fitting I want that they don't be the force so freaking Or in that street, you only need no shiponga She do the shon kota, hey that's a hate And then it's a fighting Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fernando and on this channel we talk about YouTube tips. We talk about motivational thinking keys. <laughs> That's a thinking keys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fernando and on this channel we talk about YouTube tips. We talk about motivation. We talk about reading tips and a whole lot of other videos that we put on this channel just to educate you and inspire you in any way that we can. So, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you if you're here for the very first time thank you for spending these few minutes with me and please do consider subscribing because that really helps our channel move forward and hit our next milestone so you're welcome if you have already been here welcome again and in this video we are talking about a couple of things that big successful youtubers never really share before we get into this video, I really want to give a shout out to all of the awesome people who always be supporting our channel, always be commenting on our videos, leaving a like, and I want to give them a shout out. So in today's video, I'm going to leave screenshots of all of you guys here on the screen. And also I'm going to leave links to your channels in the description and in the first pinned comment. So guys, go support these guys, go follow them. Go subscribe on their channels and you tell them that Fernando sent you and ah, let's be part of community let's help other small creators grow and please just go to their channels and do their do and also at the end of the video I'll leave you guys on the screen so go check out these guys go subscribe to their channels go check them out and they are awesome so if you are like me, you probably have a lot of YouTubers that you look up to, a lot of successful YouTubers. If you are like me, you spend probably a lot of time on YouTube watching videos. I hope the videos that you watch or the videos that you consume on YouTube are videos that help you improve to be a better person. 
if you are like me, there's a lot of successful YouTubers that you look up to. Successful YouTubers, people with millions, millions and millions of subscribers. So I think in every niche, there is a, people who have made it on the platform. And what the people who have made it on the platform, what they always bring to their viewers, are always the positive or the good things about YouTube. There are some things that successful YouTubers never really share with their audience so in this video i'm going to share with you plus minus seven things that successful youtubers never really share with their audience number one one of the things that successful youtubers never really share or never really talk about they'll talk about their lives everything is going well with their youtube career but one thing that they never really talk about is the negativity you know I think when you become a successful YouTuber, you, there's a lot of negativity that will come after you. It's like the most success, I, don't, I think it's just not in YouTube. It's just in YouTube, business, life, or anywhere, wherever you find yourself. It's like the more successful you become, it's like and the more the negativity grows. In the negativity when people are criticizing you for whatever it is that you do whatever it is that you bring to the platform it's like and when you're like a small creator most of the time people who are watching your content are your close friends your family maybe your mom or your parents they watch your content and they don't really criticize you there's not really much a uh, big level of negativity but as long as when you start to grow when you start hitting those numbers as successful YouTubers, as a successful YouTuber, <laughs> or a successful businessman, a successful musician, the negativity will also grow. And that is one thing that successful YouTubers never really share. That is that they get a lot of hate. They get a lot of negativity. People would even create fake accounts just to come and comment on successful YouTubers' accounts just to tarnish their name so that's one thing that they never really share with us it's like the negativity is like the more successful you become the more the negativity becomes the more the hate grows and people will hate you just for nothing just for being you just for putting out content people will just hate you and i think there's a quote that i came across this week on social that says that if you don't have haters, that like you're probably not doing anything special with your life. Or you're not doing something big. Because the moment you start doing big things, big boss moves, the haters will come. Number two, another thing that successful YouTubers don't really share with their viewers is chasing views. A lot of successful YouTubers, they, some of them are caught in this trap of chasing views and the trap of chasing views is like one youtuber will always feel that each video that they put out it must have a certain number of views just for example every video that i put out must have 10,000 views now another view when they get to the point of every video that comes out has to have 10,000 then they'll have another target of maybe 50,000, 100,000, 1 million. At the end of the day, they'll always be chasing views. At the end of the day, they might compromise their quality in pursuit of the views. Or they might really be depressed if they had hoped that a video will reach 1 million views and then it flops with 10,000 views. So that's one thing they also don't share is like they get caught in the trap of chasing views. I think this one is normal also for small YouTubers like us. We always want our videos to do good, you know. We always have targets like my video must be 10,000 10, views. My video must be 1,000 views. And we get caught in this trap of always chasing views. And it is a never-ending cycle because the views will, will never be satisfied by the view. Whenever we hit certain milestones, we always want more and more and more and more. So what's the one thing that also doesn't share with us? The chasing view trap is very real. And this doesn't apply to small YouTubers who want to grow. It also applies to the big YouTubers. 
another thing that YouTubers don't share with their viewers or their audience is comparison. In comparison, that's one thing a lot of successful YouTubers struggle with. They are always comparing themselves with other successful YouTubers or people who are more advanced than them. They always fall into this job of always comparing themselves. They are comparing their channels. They are comparing their lives. They are comparing their companies. So it is something that they never really share. Whatever it is that they share on their channels, on their life, it's always the positive, the good side of their channels or their life. But that's also one thing that they never share is that they also struggle with comparison. Just like small creators also struggle with comparison, the big YouTubers also struggle with comparisons. You might think that the big YouTubers, they are their own persons. They don't compare themselves with anyone, but they also struggle and they they also struggle with comparison. Another thing that successful YouTubers never really share on their channel is burn out. A lot of successful big YouTubers, they are always pushing, pushing, going, going on their channels, on their businesses, and they struggle and they burn out. That's why sometimes some of them will take like months or weeks away from YouTube, away from social media because they have been pushing for so, so many years, they've been pushing for so, so many months, and now they are burnt out and they never share that with their audience. Every time it's just a good, you know, but things like YouTube, you can really burn out if you go each and every day and you go hard, you can really burn out. And that's one thing they don't share. The fifth thing successful YouTubers never really share with their audience and their viewers is they suffer from the imposter syndrome especially youtubers who are in kind of educational kind of niches who they teach or they bring value to their audience they always feel that they are never really expert enough to be teaching whatever it is that they are teaching so they might feel like sometimes like they feel like they are kind of like fake gurus so they suffer from imposter syndrome the way they carry themselves on camera you might think that this person is so knowledgeable about this subject this person is so confident, but they also suffer from imposter syndrome. They might think, these people, these people will catch me out one day, you know, because I don't feel like an expert in what I'm bringing out. So they also suffer from imposter syndrome. The sixth thing successful YouTubers never really share is that mental health issues are real on social media. Mental health issues are real on YouTube and it's a struggle a lot of youtubers never really talk about their mental health issues you know because youtube this thing not be easy it's not easy it's not being a uh, it's not easy being a youtuber it's not easy being a small youtuber that's the thing this thing it's not easy being a big youtuber because as small creators we think these guys are so perfect you know they don't have any issues but they suffer from mental health issues and they, they never really share. Like I said, that's why sometimes people will get go away from YouTube. They'll be missing for a month or weeks because they want to get their mental health. Well, because you can never really pour from an empty cup. And if a successful YouTuber doesn't take care of themselves mentally, they can never really push to the next limit so they suffer from mental health and that's one thing that they never really share and i also feel like sometimes we like really unfair to successful youtubers because we like always take 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 from them we always take they can be entertainers they can be educational youtubers or inspirational youtubers but as the audience we always want more it's like we are addicted to the content that these guys are putting out we always want more 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 and these guys, unfortunately, they are just human, you know, so they might burn out and mental health is an issue for these guys. So I think sometimes we are unfair because we just take, we don't really care about this person. We all, always want the person to post. Like the person says that they post on Tuesdays and Friday. We want those uploads on Tuesdays and, and Friday. We don't really care if something is happening in their personal life. If someone, somebody is sick in their family, we don't really care. We just want the video uploaded for us to consume. So I think as viewers, we can sometimes be very selfish. So 
that's why mental health is really a big thing in uh, YouTube for successful YouTubers and I think we just need to employ empathy for successful YouTubers if they don't upload if they're not consistent we have to employ empathy and be sympathetic with whatever it is whatever issues they might be going through in their lives we should not be like this successful youtuber is not posting anymore over the last month or so i'm going to unsubscribe and follow someone else on you now we should employ empathy and if they're going through issues we give them space we give them time and yeah guys my name is fernando i appreciate you guys for being here from the beginning of this video to the end of this video and yeah the word for today is um, book so comment below book and yeah i'll see you guys <laughs> if you comment below book i'll come check out your channel and see if i like your content i might just subscribe and again the shout outs will play from now go and subscribe to this guy's channels Go and follow them on social media, Facebook, Twitter, IG, follow them, subscribe to their channels and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Ciao.